Good evening and welcome to Night Prayers. I'm going to use some photographs of wildlife to help us um, in praying this evening. God, Father, as we come to you to pray this evening, we want to thank you that you're a God of this whole earth. God, that you created everything that we see from the mountains, from the earth itself, from animals and people, and thank you that your creation is majestic, that your creation demonstrates to us your strength and creativity. And God, we are amazed by the things that you have created. God, I thank you that you have created animals and people who show us your characteristics of welcoming and friendliness, of strength, and joy. Thank you, God, for the animals that we see who can live in very cold environments and also in really warm environments. Thank you, God, that you have made us all different and unique. And I thank you, God, that when we look at other people, we see the characters of goodness, of friendliness, of kindness, of love. They reflect to us what you're like. God, I thank you that you have made some of us leaders that show others the way and lead others to safety. And God, we pray for those in our country and in our world who are leaders, who try to show a vision of what the future can be like, who try to guide and shape us in the right direction. We pray, God, for that they would have wisdom in their leadership skills and bring clarity of communication and Father God I pray for all of us who try and seek to make the world better that you would give us courage and strength and vision and a spirit that will work together in unity. I thank you God for those of us who are friends. Thank you God for the example that Jesus set us of being a friend to many, of caring for his friends in providing them bread, in providing them food, in looking after those who were mistreated. Thank you, God, that you love friendship and that you call on us to love you and to love one another. And Father God, I thank you for the way that we see this reflected in creation, that animals and people care for each other and it's a reflection of who you are. Father, thank you that you have given us each a spirit of courage, a spirit of boldness. I thank you, God, that your word says about how you have crowned us uh, to be part of your family. And Father God, I thank you that the spirit you've put in us should be one of boldness and courage because you've saved us to be part of your family. And I thank you for the determination and creativity that we see in our world. I pray for each of us, whichever challenges we're facing, whatever is in front of us, God, you give us strength to move forward in the situations we face. God, I thank you for the fun that we are able to be have as part of your family. Thank you for the people that you've put around us to be on this journey. Many people who are similar to us and some who are different. Thank you, God, that you love diversity, that you love creativity and that you love each person uniquely as they are. Thank you, God, for what you teach us through other people. And thank you so much that um, people challenge us to be better versions of ourselves. Father God, thank you that we are part of a family when we are in you. I thank you that we are joined with people from all over the world, many who are close by us and some who are far away. Father, thank you for family and the opportunity to love and care for people of different generations. Father, I pray that you would help all of us to be good family members, to care for those who are older than us and to take care for them and to care for the children in our families, to give them good examples and to be there for them, to love them and guide them, and just to be present in their lives. 
God, I thank you that you are a God who loves the vulnerable and those who often can feel lonely. God, I pray for us as people that we would be conscious of those around us who are lonely or vulnerable, either because they don't have a home or they don't have people to care for them or they don't have sufficient means to buy food. Father, in these difficult times, I pray, God, that you give us a greater awareness of what's going on around us and a generosity to care for people who are in need. And God, most of all, I thank you that you are a constant, that you're our king, that you're all powerful, that you're all knowing. Father, thank you that we can look to you as the one who guides us, who's our ultimate leader, who is a friend, but is also majesty reigned on high. God, I thank you that we bring all our prayers to you at all times, knowing that you're there as a strong presence, that you've always been and that you always will be God. Amen.